Okay, in this video, we're just going to take a look at a few more examples of fire. Let's see what we have here. This was actually, I forgot to specify the resolution on this one. I can't believe it. We'll see what it's doing. That's not bad, though. I think it was fairly low resolution, maybe around 100 for the divisions. Like that. All right, let me see. Here's some of the others. This says, this was at 105 resolution. 200, uh, 1,250 particles, and here's, uh, yeah, this was, oh, yeah, and then I forgot to, forgot to specify that one, too. How did I mess that up? Okay, but here's 40 resolution down here. With 2,000 particles, and here's 150 resolution at 2,000 particles. Okay, let me see. Then we have some, uh, here's some high resolution, 300 particles at 180 resolution. This starts looking pretty nice. And this is for a project I'm working on for fire mitigation in Colorado. And here it is from another angle, 300 particles. This is resolution's up a little bit in here, 200. And the point of this video is also to show you about this, which most of you probably know. So you see the shadows right here that are being cast by the fire. So that's because I don't have my receive transparent set on this particular object. And I'll show you if you don't have it on all your objects, it's going to cause you trouble. Like in this video, you'll see. So you, you essentially have to come through and set receive transparent on the materials of each one of the objects in the scene. And you can see it on the tree like that. That's the one thing I don't know. That little anomaly right there, those streaks there, not sure what that is. Okay, and let me see. Oh yeah, that one didn't quite work. Didn't have the domain long enough to make that one work. But all right, well that kind of gives you an idea. I'll see you in the next video.